people to fall in love. Love starts out kind of like a fire or an emotion or an obsession. And then it, it really turns into a commitment. And then after the commitment, it turns into something that has endured time. Something stronger than just a commitment or a passion or an attraction. It turns into something real. But that's the difficult part about marriage, is when it gets real. And in order to really sustain a marriage, I believe with all my heart, the most important thing that you guys can do is to sustain a relationship with Jesus Christ. Now, a lot of people say that, and of course, people look at me and go, well, that's your job as a minister, you have to say this stuff about Jesus. But a lot of people don't ask why. I'll tell you why. One day, as I was leaving town, and at the time I lived in the town where Lacey grew up, the best town on earth, according to its sign. <laughs> Just like Snapple's made from the best stuff on earth. But as I was leaving town, I looked at my beautiful wife and I said, I'm going to get you something to drink. She said, okay. I said, what would you like? She said, surprise me. So I did. She was very unhappy. <laughs> I got her an iced tea. And as I'm driving down the road, she looks at me and she says, why did you get an iced tea? You know, I always want to pop. If there's pop as an option, I always want that. So just a few days later, I had a chance to read it, to make it right. I didn't even ask her. I just walked into the grocery store before we left town. I came out with a Pepsi. I knew I was going to get it right this time. I gave it to her, and as we're driving down the road, she's like, you know that I see you got me the other day? I thought I had that. And so, about a week later, I walk into the grocery store, I don't say a thing to her, and I come out with this giant bag. I have water, tea, pop, whatever I could find was liquid, pretty much. Open the door, I say, here. She says, why'd you waste all that money? <laughs> Let me tell you something about marriage. You're never going to be able to please each other. But every day you'll be able to love each other. You're never going to find the right answers for everything. You're never going to make the right decisions. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to fall down. But every day, love will get you through it. And the thing that's gotten me through my life isn't just the love of my beautiful wife who I adore. But I have fallen down and made so many mistakes. And in spite of my mistakes as a human being, as a man, I have a tendency sometimes to be arrogant and think that everything I do is wonderful. And 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ gave his life. He sacrificed his perfection to redeem my end. And every day as I walk through this life and make mistakes and mess up, I know that the God I serve offers me His forgiveness. And if He gave His life for me to offer me His forgiveness, how can I not live out that forgiveness and offer it to other people in my life? If you walk in that kind of forgiveness throughout your lives, and you honor one another with that kind of love, your marriage will last forever. Don't make your marriage like a Hollywood marriage. They're for richer, or for poorer, or for better, or for worse, but not for long. <laughs> Colossians 3, 12 through 19 says, Since God chose you, God chose us to be a holy people that he loves, we must clothe ourselves with tender-hearted mercy. Kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Make allowances for each other's faults. Forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, 
which binds us all together in perfect harmony. And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts, for as members of one body we are called to live in peace. And always be thankful. Let the message about Christ and all its richness fill your lives. Teach and counsel each other with all the wisdom that He gives. Sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs or even hip-hop to God with thankful hearts. And whatever you do or say, do it as a representative of the Lord Jesus. Giving thanks through Him to God the Father. God has given us this wonderful thing called forgiveness. And love will get us through anything. But love has to come with that gift of forgiveness. And we have to give each other the same kind of mercy that we want to walk in every day. Every day is new through the eyes of love. So I challenge you. Let the love of God enter your lives together and share that love with one another. And every day, your love will grow. Every day, you'll love each other beyond all your little quirks and idiosyncrasies, beyond anything you can think. Love will save the day. <laughs>